Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, that heat continues to get more intense across North Alabama. Actual temperatures in the low to mid 90s right now. We're at 95 degrees in Muscle Shoals, 92 in Athens and Decatur, 91 in Huntsville and Moulton. That's also the current temperature for Scottsboro and Gunnersville, Fort Payne. On the cooler side of things, we're at 89 degrees right now. The feels like temperatures well into the triple digits this afternoon. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network shows a fairly quiet picture if you're west of I-65, farther toward the east. A couple of showers here and there, and one little band of thunderstorms that's begun developing here just now west of Highway 72. It's going to continue tracking eastward between 15 and 20 miles per hour. It's going to be in spots like Hollywood at 429, Stevenson 439, Pisgah by 458 and Henniger by 526 if that holds together and look closely. Notice a few lightning strikes there. So those are storms, not just a band of showers moving through tonight. We're down to 74 degrees. Any shower and thunderstorm activity that we've got continues to fade. We're left with a partly cloudy sky and a calm wind and very humid conditions. Future radar as we go through the rest of this evening, we'll stop you here at 930 showing you that any of that shower activity does mainly fade after sunset. We're still in the 80s at this point at least for most spots. As we continue through tonight into early tomorrow morning, there's 7 a.m. Temperatures start in the 70s. As we get into the afternoon, quickly warming into the 90s by 2 o'clock. We're already in the mid-90s in some spots like the Shoals. A couple of spotty showers and storms start developing. And then as we go through the rest of the evening, we'll kind of go through this process again where once we lose daytime heating, we lose that storm coverage. As we get into Thursday, chance for a shower is possible as early as the morning. Slightly better storm chances, though, of course, during the afternoon with a little bit of daytime heating. That's your you stopped at five o'clock. Feels like forecast temperatures feeling again like we are well into the triple digits by tomorrow afternoon. Look at this 103 in Florence by one o'clock tomorrow, 101 in Athens, 102 in Moulton and in Scottsboro. So with those kinds of temperatures, we are going to have a heat advisory that takes effect. It actually starts tomorrow morning at 11, continues until nine o'clock tomorrow night for all of North Alabama except for Jackson and DeKalb counties. We're not alone in this. Look at how large this area of heat advisories is. Continues out all the way into the plains from Arkansas over into Oklahoma, parts of Kansas, as well as all the way down into Louisiana and up towards Chicago. So we, again, are not alone in dealing with the heat. And for the next few days, we'll have similarly hot conditions. Still feeling like triple digits as we get into the weekend, but it's not going to be hot enough, I don't think, to warrant a heat advisory by that point. I have another update for you from potential tropical Cyclone 6. This is still not Tropical Storm Fred. We do expect that to happen, though, tonight. That's coming from the National Hurricane Center. At last check, maximum sustained winds at 35 miles per hour. Continues this track off toward the west kind of making a bend towards the northwest here. And depending on its land interaction, that'll help determine just how strong it's able to become. Friday, it's approaching the south coast of Florida, and then it makes that turn a little bit farther toward the north up into the Gulf. Still at this point forecast as a tropical storm, but it certainly does bear watching along the panhandle of Florida, the big bend area of Florida as well. Our seven day forecast shows that chance for showers and storms each afternoon. Temperatures still in the lower 90s, overnight lows still mainly in the low to mid 70s. Remember, you can always listen for your forecast, Nash Icon 93.3.